Do I, I think a rocky planet because they'll be quicker to design. So do we want to add something close to the star? Do we want a Venus-like planet, a cold desert like Mars, a hot desert, an Earth-like world? What, what do you want me to add around this star right now on the stream? And we're going for realistic as well, so we do need to make it look perfect. So, so orbits and trails on right now. So Sirius, that world's all the way over there. That's fine. Uh, Sirius' zone is there. Venus-like world, rocky, scorched desert. Okay, a lot of people are saying Venus-like worlds, okay. What do you not like inside your burgers? Oh, very funny, Fame. <laughs> for anyone who doesn't know, that's a good... I mean, for anyone who doesn't know, yeah, I don't, I'm not really the biggest fan of tomatoes. I do not like those in burgers. <laughs> Core at 7B planet. So, yeah, we're definitely going with, like, a hot Venus desert kind of world. So, we're going to go quite close to the star here. Right, so you want to make this guy looking realistic. So, we're going to go over a random rocky. Uh, let's place it, I mean, we could place it roughly a Venus distance around, but I mean, it's going to be quite warm around that, close to Sirius. I'm going to place it around 0 0.8 AU from the Sun, so 80% the distance of Earth's orbit from the Sun. So there it is there. Right, so we're going to make this into a hot Venus lookalike. So first of all, I want to get some, I'm thinking some craters, we want to have a cratered kind of surface, so I want to go and use one of the, I think it's number 15, which one has the craters? Yes, I want to use that one. Now, this is a cool texture, actually. I think this is quite a it's quite a cool raspberry generator one. And I'm going to mix this with maybe a mercury texture just to get all those craters looking good. So you can see all the detail there. There's a lot of craters going on. We get a good mix of the two there. Ooh. Could get a nice mix. I mean, that's looking pretty cratered up, isn't it? I mean, that's pretty cool. So if you look, that's with, uh, with and without the mercury effects. But that's... I'm going to go there, so it's still got those patches. And then I'm thinking, well, colour-wise, we're going to make it look like the Venus surface. So we're going to make it that orangey, yellowy shade. So we need to make these kind of like a, a high burnt rock-looking kind of look to it. So maybe more of an orange, quite a deep orange. Maybe we have a black to represent the volcanic rock. What do you think of that? Is that looking pretty, pretty scorched-looking? Maybe a bit more, maybe a brighter orange mix in there as well. Deeper orange. Maybe it's a little too orange. How's that looking? What do you think of that? I think the deeper colour. Because that's that's obviously affecting all of the white zone there. So if we make that deeper. Somewhere there. Looks like a hot Mars. A bit sandier. Okay, so a bit more yellow. Bring a bit more yellow into it. Like that, maybe. Maybe that blends with the orange we already have a little better. So we've got the sandy yellow. Then we've got the deeper orange here in the middle elevation. That's looking pretty good as well, actually. What do you think of that? How's that looking? That looks good. Yes, epic, perfect, crusty, nice. Looks like Io. Okay, it looks like you guys are liking it. That's good stuff. Okay, all right. Because I think we, I think we got the surface just where we want it. From what you guys are saying, uh, to elevation. Give it a little more detail on the crater, in maybe. A bit more there. I think that looks quite good, actually. What do you think of that? A little more detail. Can see definitely see the craters stand out now. How's that looking? That's cool. Right, we're only doing one planet for this system though, because after this we're going to get started with some of the questions. So there we go. Uh, contrast. I think I'll leave that alone. Yeah, we'll leave that at 25. That's fine. That's about 0 0.25, 25 percent. Okay, that's good. Right, next up, atmosphere. So let's just actually see how warm this planet gets actually, because I want to just see the temperature. I mean, if I'm just going to get to 100 degrees, does it continue to increase? I mean, it is quite close to the star. So we're going to see how that temperature plays out. But in the meantime, we're going to add an atmosphere as well. Because if we're going to go for a Venus theme, we do need something. So let's just go over one, 2.3 ATM for start off with. So atmosphere pressures. Uh, I'm just going to lower the opacity down as well. All clouds are looking good as well. What do you think of the clouds? Let's turn those off though. Add a thick atmosphere. Can you make it a super Earth? Make it bigger? So... Let's go 1.2 radius of Earth, so 1.5 mass. That's quite a big, quite a big chunky rock there. <laughs> right, and then um, I think the most uh, logical thing to do would be give it a reddish, orangey kind of shade. Maybe increase the opacity a bit, a bit more like that, so you can still see the surface underneath. What are we thinking of that? Can you make it half water? Well, if we're going for a Venus theme, the water won't really make sense on this one. Thick atmosphere. 
Pale yellow atmosphere. Let's see how that looks. That's a phoenix saying that. More pale. Something more like that. Maybe just make the opacity a little more visible. Kind of gives it that toxic kind of sulfuric acid appearance. With the orange surface underneath. How's that looking? What do you think of that? Be a little thinner. What should we name it? How do you mod stuff? Um, it's all doing done in the files. You have to individually open object files using 7-zip. A program called 7-zip. Um, that's one of the ones you can use. Um, honestly, it's been years since I've modded now. Because modding has kind of taken a back seat. Since they've added so much customization in game. I've honestly lost how you really do it. But you open the files up in 7-zip. And you start changing the numbers in there. There's, there were some guides that we put out years ago. Uh, some of the guys in the community it did it um but honestly I, I i don't have the knowledge to tell you really how to really do it i did make tutorials years ago of basic modding but there's definitely more in the files that you can experiment with um it's a lot of trial and error less the saturation of the atmosphere so what you want me to do that or keep it yellow um what do you mean by lesser saturation you want me to make it a little more yellow so more like that I think that's looking quite good, actually. Then you... So, yeah, what are we thinking of a name? Tartist? Meth... Mephitis? Yeah, we've got a lot of names here. Maybe we can name it Milestone. You know, I quite like that. To kind of show it was a... Uh... To kind of show it was built in this special live stream, you know, this is the only way you're going to see me creating this object is in this live stream. So it's just going to show up in the next episode. And anyone who didn't see the stream be like, "Where's that come from?" <laughs> but yeah, I've, I've, I quite like the name Milestone, just to show, you know, just its hidden meaning. There's Milestone. No, that's not a bad. But we could add, we could give it an official name as well. Milestone would be its nickname. So Mepetis. I do quite like that name from Saphenix. Nemesis. Yeah, I'm not so sure. Because Nemesis is kind of an overused name, really. Well, we'll definitely give it a moon, Mohammed, for sure. Um, Rosin. Got lots of names. So which one do I choose? <laughs> it's quite hard. Um, Venusus. Maybe we call it, maybe we mix the names together. So we call it Venus, so it's V-E-N-U-S-U-S. -S. So maybe we call it Venusus Rosin. Those those two names kind of sound like you could put them together. So that's Venusus Rosin, and we'll call it Dash Milestone. As it's, maybe that's its translation to English. I don't know, maybe this is like another language that translates to English. But I think we'll stick with that. So we, stuck two, we put two of your names together and made a, a name there. So that's looking cool. That's a hot looking planet. Um, How high is it actually going to go? I want to see. I just want to let the simulation run for a bit. I just want to see how hot this thing actually gets. So it's increasing. I want to see if we can get it up to around 400 maybe. So that we can start getting some molten rock on the surface. So let's just let that run for a bit. I like your hard work in your channel. Well, thank you very much, Bob. I'm glad you appreciate. Um, or, yeah, I appreciate you like my stuff. Glad you enjoy it. 288 to 90. Okay, still going. I'm going to give it a little more push with its atmosphere here. I'm just going to give it a little more in for it. Lower the albedo a bit. That should hopefully give it the kick it needs. Going up to the 400. Oh, yeah, this will easily get into where we need it now. So you can see its surface map there. So I'll see the equator's the hottest point there. So how hot's the equator? So we're sitting around just over 400 degrees. And we get a glowing rock? No, not yet. Okay. Lowering the albedo a bit more, I'm going to increase the infrared emissions. We should start to see some... I just want a little bit of molten rock. I don't want the whole thing melted, but I want just a tad bit. I'm going to give it a little more atmosphere pressure. Or another atmosphere layer, I should say. Where's the, uh, where's the layer button? Uh, actually, where's the atmosphere? Oh, there it is, yeah. Uh, oh, no, 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 man. Um... Where's the layer button gone? Am I just completely losing my mind? Where's the atmosphere layers gone? Have they moved it? Anyone know where the atmosphere layers disappeared? It should, it should have been here, wasn't it? Where's it? Infra it's infrared. Ah, there you go. Yeah, of course. God, I almost lost the plot there. What is going on with me today? <laughs> there we go. Right. 
And that should start to warm it up. Now we've doubled the atmosphere up. That should easily get it where we want it. So there we go. Right, how are we doing in the chat? You can see the equivalent temperature. It's under surface. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so there we go. Now it's glowing hot. That's what we want. So just slow it down a bit. So you can see it's starting to glow behind. There you go. It's the temperature. Looking good. There it is. So the expected steady state temperature based on energy balance. So 540 degrees there now. Uh, where's the average? Uh, where are we? Oh, the yeah, average is here. So, uh, 457 is the average um, temperature there. Okay. That's cool. Under infrared. Cool. Thank you very much. Looks hostile. It definitely does. That is not a, really a good looking place to be. Hot molten rock on the surface. Bash to shreds of craters. A sulfuric sort of pale yellow atmosphere. Let's get a view of the surface. Surface view of our star Sirius. Oh, that's not looking like a... Now that doesn't look like a nice place to be, does it? You can see the glowing rock. The Yeah, that very toxic looking uh, sky colour. Yeah, that's looking pretty, pretty cool actually. I do like that. Yeah, we're going to stick with that. That's a good looking world there. I like that. Oh, and one thing we forgot. We forgot about the clouds. Clouds on. Now, I think Kim will just make those roughly the same shade of yellow as the uh, atmosphere there. Um, thick and fluffy. I mean, I think that's already perfectly the way we want it. I mean, we could try red clouds. I, mean, what I think it's just the finishing touches now. What cloud colour do we want? Black clouds, red, yellow, white... I think they'll probably be the best color, the most logical colors to do. What are we thinking? Cloud colors, yellow clouds, acidic clouds, blue clouds. <laughs> I don't know about that, but I mean, if you want to see it, I mean, it doesn't look really right, does it? But there's your blue. But yeah, I think the yellow, quite a deep yellow to represent like sulfuric clouds, could look quite good. I mean, if we did thick and thick, maybe how's that? Just increase the thickness of the clouds. So opacity and coverage are maxed out. I think that looks quite good, actually, the way it is. Those thick yellow clouds. How do we like that? Orange, yellow. A lot of people saying orange. Okay, I think that's the majority. Okay, we'll tint them to slightly more orange shade. Oh, that does look really good about the atmosphere as well there. But yeah, the, the clouds are orange. Give it a deeper orange there, but they are there. The clouds won't be most visible, though, because the planet is quite hot. Because the clouds do fade away when you start getting to around 500 in temperature but for the time being we're going to leave that the way it is i'm very pleased with the way that's turned out right so now moon i think we'll give this guy it's a super so we're going to give it two moons i think that's quite because we're going to be we're going for this is a realistic system so we want it to be fairly realistic in its appearance so i'm going to put one moon there and we'll have a smaller outer moon over here slightly bent on its orbit right so first moon what are we thinking i mean for, for me i don't think this is going to be the most exciting looking world i think it's going to be quite a bare cratered world almost like mercury so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with, not a Sedna, um, I think we need just a heavily cratered world for this. So maybe we'll do a Callistero and Mercury, they're always good for craters if you mix those two planet textures together. So quite a good mix of Callisto and Mercury textures combined there, what do you think of that? I mean we want it to be basic, cratered, I mean we can keep the colours like that, maybe that scorched orange maybe. A more generic grey there just to make it look a little more I'm just gonna pale some of that maybe like a grey a grey stone with those browner patches how does that look I notice it's sunset is blue yeah it's a bit weird isn't it how do you get old saves to load in universe sandbox uh, make sure they're in not they're in the correct folder because if you load up a, a file in universe sandbox 2 and then you update the game to where it was renamed as Universe Sandbox. It creates a separate save folder for those simulations. So you probably will have two folders for Universe Sandbox and then Universe Sandbox 2 or Squared. Whatever you want to call it there. But yeah, there should be a two save folders if you have got an old version of the game named as Sandbox 2. You can tidily lock the moon. Yeah, I, that, you know, I agree with that. That's a good call actually. There you go. So that's always going to face the planet. The same face of the moon will always face the planet now. So if we stand on this side of the moon, look up. So the planet should not move in the sky now. That should be permanently stuck there, which it is. So look, that, that, that planet will always be wherever this side of the moon is looking. The planet does not move in the sky because the moon is permanently locked to it. 
And that is a cool crater, or not crater, cool eclipse there. Block it all out. That's a cool view. Definitely, that looks really good, actually. <laughs> so let's go out of here. Turn the zone off as well. Let's actually try and get um, a more a surface view. So let's go, let's save them and land here. Get the I want to get the planet on the horizon, actually. So where are we? So I say somewhere there. I think that look good. Look around. There's the planet. Oi, where, where, oi, where are we gone? There's the planet's there. Let me just manually fly by it. So I'd say somewhere there on the surface. Yep. Oh, hang on. Where is the planet gone? Ugh, that's really annoying. Let me zoom out again. Just want to get the. I want to get the perfect view for this. So that planet looks so good. Actually, I'm really, really pleased with the way that's turned out. How about there? We should look, turn the... There you go. Okay, perfect. That is exactly what I wanted to see. So press play. The planet never moves in the sky because of that tidy lock-in. Check that out. Oh, that is awesome. So nighttime. Obviously, planet will light the sky up. Now the planet's going into the nighttime there. Yeah, check that out. And then you get an eclipse right there. Blocks the star out. Oh, that's seriously cool, actually. I like that. <laughs> it's really cool. Very nice. Make the other moon have a weird orbit, yeah. Bye, Luke. i got to go keep up the good work. Yeah, see you, Fame. Thanks for tuning in, buddy. Yeah, that's cool. So, eclipsed out right now. That's cool. Okay, where are we keeping the moons? Where's the other guy at? That's where we wanted to take. Uh... So, here is a curio. Right, so we're going to give it a weird orbit. So, we're going to make it eccentric, slightly inclined. So... Centricity is there. It's just a tiny value. I'm just going to give it a little bit. Just so it's slightly bent out. So, times two. Something like that. Yeah, I think that's fair enough. And then slightly inclined. So, I'm just going to give it a double. I already made it inclined when I spawned it in, but I'm just going to give it a slightly more incline there. I think it's losing material. Look, you can see there's a smoke trail fragment. Where's that come from? Let's get that out of here. All right. Bit weird. Okay, right. So, here's our moon. So second moon. So again, this guy, it's quite a small little, small rock. I'm going to make it a little smaller. It's very, very small. Um, and then surface textures. I mean, I'm going to go with, does it, does it let us do Phobos and Nemos? Uh, and then Nemos, maybe mix them together. Oh yeah, that just looks very strange. Actually, it doesn't look too bad, actually. You wouldn't think of that. Does that look good? No, I'm not keen on that, actually. No, I'm not a fan. Iapetus and... Iapetus and a Dione could look quite good. A lot of craters on that. Dione. Oh, hang on. Hey, where's Iapetus gone? Oi. Iapetus. That's not even changing that. What? Oi. Maybe it's too... Oh. Oh. Hang on, when did I select the planet? Really, game? <laughs> can, can I undo that? Oh, that's so annoying. I'm undoing. When did I select the planet? <laughs> oh, come on, man. I didn't press... I... When did I press the planet? <laughs> uh, we did... What was it? We did... Um... It was planet 15 and Mercury, wasn't it? Let's put it back. At least I remembered. Uh, there you go. Looks a little different to how it was. Ah, oh, because I'd messed with the settings, didn't I? Ah. There, that's pretty much the way it was. Okay, just a slight change there. Okay. Is that are we happy with that? I mean that looks Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's fine. Oh, that's really annoying. What like I don't remember clicking the planet. I'm sure I had this guy selected. If anyone replays that, tell me how I did that. <laughs> right. I have just and dying, that's who I want to do. Okay, you saw that. I just clicked on this moon and it just selected the planet again. What is this cursed game doing? <laughs> that ain't right. I did not have the planet selected there. Back to Mercury for you. That is so strange. Here's to delete this. Let's try again. Let's spawn a new object. And I don't know what was going on there. I've not seen a glitch like that before. I mean, do you give that? I mean, yeah, that's... What do you think of that? That is very strange. 
Uh, let's see here. Exoplanets101, he wants his uh, name mentioned. There you go. Um, okay, right. Dion, let's press it. So I'm, I'm definitely got this moon selected. Dion. Okay, Dion. Okay, and then I want... Iapetus. There you go, that one works. That's weird. Very strange. Not seen anything like that before. Mix a Dion and Iapetus together. Quite cool, actually. And then for this guy, I mean, this guy is going to be a very basic, sort of greyed out looking world, I think. Got some slightly orange patches on it, as you can see there. But for the most part, I'm keeping this fairly generic looking. Yeah. I think that's fine the way it is. And then no no modifications needed for anything else on that. All right, what are we naming the two moons, everybody? What do you want them the moons, moons named? And then once we've done this, I think we'll call it a uh, call it quits for uh, this system. So there we go. Let's give that a bit of eccentricity, a little further out. Slightly inclined as well. Yep, already is. It's a little more. But yeah, we need two moon names. So one for the bigger moon here. And then one for the second moon. Astro Bay, they want their name mentioned. There you go. Um, Astrid, name it that, please. Well, Mohammed was first, so we'll name this one Astrid. That's the first one. S T R I D. Oh, uh, I could say cap blocks. Uh, A S T R I D. And. Then Cadence Adventures, they were second to put a name in there, I believe. So we'll go with Quinton for the smaller moon. So There's still some fragment here. What's going on there? There's definitely some... Let's delete that. I don't want that in here. Get that out of here. A bunch of fragments. Oh, that was weird. Camera will just move there. Just want to delete these. Can I just... It's all those fragments. What is that all about? Oh, my God. What? Oh, delete all that. We don't want any of that. Go away. There we go. Don't want extra particles slowing the simulation down. Right, and then yeah, this guy was... How was it? Quentin. Q-U-I-T-E-N. Oh, no, hang on. It was Q-U-N-T-E-N. Q-U-N-T-E-N. Cool. I'm losing my place in the chat now. Uh, where are we? Oh, Q I N T N. Quinten. There you go. Quinten. Yes. Cool. And there you go. So that is a realistic, sort of hot desert Venus sulfuric kind of, however you want to describe it. Bright yellow trail for you. And it's got its two moons. Looking good. So we'll give one a browner browner shade and this guy has a more grayer shade and there you go there is your two moons so we can now update this system with a new stream exclusive planet added into it so we'll get we'll get back to making more videos on that next week so the simulation is just called realistic so with that all done that's that done so yeah thank you guys for your uh, suggestions on making this i think we had quite a good little collaboration building that actually